Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly pray you by the same Spirit, graciously make Holy, these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with the Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that you may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence will lie for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation we pray, O oh Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Mary, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Remember your servants, Carl T. Bush and Jean Berke, whom you have called from this world to yourself, grant that they who were united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. When from the earth he will raise up in the flesh those who have died and transform our lowly body after the pattern of his own glorious body to our departed brothers and sisters too, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, 
give kinder admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory when you will wipe away every tear from our eyes. For seeing you, our God, as you are, we shall be like you for all the ages and praise you without end through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from evil, evil. Gracious grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of you is now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said it to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. In gracious grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us share with each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the sup of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. By Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. At this time, we would ask you to please attend to your ushers, and they'll signal you to let you know when to move into communion. We'd also like to ask you to reverently place your hands more in a cup than in the traditional hand over hand. Um, and one last thing, if you accidentally come into contact with the clergy, let them know 
then they're going to use the sanitizer for the next for the next person. A brief word on communion, if I may. When you come up to the station to receive, the mask has to cover both your nose and your mouth. And with the cupped hands, we receive the host, step aside, lower the mask, consume the host, put your mask back on, and return to your seat, please. The body of Christ. The body.
Let us pray. O oh God, who bestow heavenly gifts upon your church, self-guide, we pray the grace you have given that the gifts of the Holy Spirit poured out upon her may retain all its force and that this spiritual food may gain her abundance of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Once again, welcome back. We are glad to see you. If you are a visitor or a newcomer, we would like to welcome you to the Church of the Ascension. In order to do that, I would ask you to stand, tell us your name and where you are from. Do we have any guests or newcomers? Yes. That being the case then, again, welcome back. We're glad you're here. Please. Stand for the final blessing. On behalf of the staff and the deacons, I would like to thank all of you for coming today as the beginning for all of us that with this pandemic, still our faith has increased and who have been united together as a family, as a church. If you read those papers, the yellow ones, they say a lot about uh, we as the church, as the family. Welcome, God loves you. Kuyomba halumo, let us walk together. Let us be joyous together. Even at this time of the pandemic, the Church of Ascension has been connected to one another. Even today, we have been connected together with our brothers and sisters who are just watching the live streaming mass. And you, you have come in person. You have made us together that the family which stays together, prays together. So my dear brothers and sisters, let us continue to support one another and follow all the CDC information and make sure that everyone is safe and everyone is protected. The other things we have come to learn through this pandemic, we didn't expect even wearing the mask some people are asking me, Father, we don't hear you. I say, no, I follow the instruction because that's what I want to be safe. I want you to be safe. My dear brothers and sisters, I want you to say thank you. And through this feast of the Holy Spirit, let us be connected to one another. The power of the Holy Spirit always will continue to guide us and give us strength. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and glorify the Lord by your lives. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Rise up, church, with broken wings. Fill this place with songs again of our God. 